Hey, welcome back everyone to another Let's Play uh, of Batman Arkham Knight. So let's get started. We were on our way to the orphanage uh, to rescue Catwoman. This is again a very nice element in the game, how they incorporated Catwoman. So let's go do this. Alright, we gotta go down. Let's go. Real minutes, fellas. What do you call the guy who takes down the bat? Uh, I don't. A hero, that's what. <laughs> I don't get it. You wanna break the bat? Then forget Scarecrow, Two Face, Penguin, and the rest of those punks. Nigma's the man with the plan. The real guy? Nah, I'm not buying it. Trust me, this guy's IQ is through the roof. You want to catch the Dark Knight, you need to be smart. And Nygma's smarter than all of you's put together. If he's so smart, how come the bat still... <laughs> Good point. Nygma's got a plan. You'll see. You don't believe me? Go ask Catwoman. She's right in there, all tied up and waiting for the bat to come save her. That's when the fun starts. So the green guy you interrogate, you don't like kill him right away, so... Gonna kick him. Oh jeez. You gotta hold up. There we go. Riddler has Catwoman. Tell me why. I don't know anything! I swear! I should just tie her up and I left her inside! Why? What's Nigma's play? I ain't got a clue. I just brought it here and planted some of these trophies nearby. That's it, you gotta believe me. I do. So you see what he said? Uh, he planted the trophies nearby, so Edward Nigma Riddler's trophies are basically um Batman and the Arkham Knight go toe to toe. If you go into the map you can see the trophies now because what you have to do is you have to find these green look glowing little dudes in the area um, and when you interrogate them so at the end what I did was when he was the only one left you walk up to him and hit the triangle button and you interrogate him and when you do he will give you these locations um, but the cool thing in this one compared to previous games is they even actually tell you like which one's a breakable object um, and all that stuff and like you know these are like actual riddles and, and stuff like that so um, but, uh, yeah. Pinkney Orphanage. Alright, so let's go meet the sexy cat woman. Yeah. This is pretty cool, man. Watch this. Batman? That had better be you. And you had better be sorry. <laughs> Keep still. Are you okay? Perfect. What little girl doesn't dream of being bait for her strapping dark night? We're leaving. You might be, but I'm not. Ah, both contestants are finally here. Tonight, folks, we've got riddles galore. But first, let me introduce my beautiful assistants. 
Ah, I'm growing tired of my dependence upon the least useless dregs I can scrape from Gotham's utterly uninspired underbelly. underbelly. Why rely on others for help when you can design, program, engineer, and manufacture it yourself? So you can switch characters, like L1 is Catwoman, and watch. So when you're fighting... And I can switch to right there. See, I switch just switch to Catwoman, and you can do a special combo takedown. Like, watch. Boom. And now you can do dual team. Watch this. The dual team attack. Watch. That is so cool in this game. See that? What a pair you made. Together, you're just competent enough to survive. Enjoy it while it lad on dark night. I have more in store for you than hitting things. And we the dual team again. Isn't the dual team awesome? No doubt you enjoyed that, detective. It's the most fun you'll have all night. You see, Dark Knight. This feisty felonious feline has been fitted with a shiny new collar. With each challenge you complete, you'll get one little key. Collect every key and the kitty goes free. Remove it too soon and the kitty goes boom! <laughs> well, don't just stand there, Dark Knight. Take that rocket-fueled roadster of yours and make your way to the Cauldron Train Yard. My first test is waiting. So that's what she's got in her neck, as you can see. I'm back for you. Stay here. I'm wearing a bomb, Batman. Of course I'm staying here. Go get my keys. It's unlike you to get caught. Was it an ambush? Blackmail? A trap? He invited me. What? He said he had a job. A job? Of the cat burgling variety. I'm pretty good at it. Remember? Not all of us scamper around on rooftops at night because we want to help people, you big brooding boy scout. Now where's my key? So these are interesting. So I had, pre I had pressed X to trigger that conversation. I believe there's different unique ones. Let's see. Do you do a lot of work for Riddler? There you go. Only when you're not looking. Selena. Someone wants something stolen? I'm the one who steals it. You know how this works. Or did you think you'd reformed me? <laughs> Catwoman, man. I mean, you, you gotta, you gotta hand it to Batman, you know, for his. What are you waiting for? Oh. Do I have to get my claws out? What I was saying was, you have to give it to Batman because he always gives uh, this, you know, I would say like compassion or uh, kindness, even like to Catwoman, even though she's like ditched him and all that stuff, uh, because he. That's who Batman is. I mean, he's just like Batman. awesome and seeing the I'm good not in people. Really you know? In the mood for a smoldering silence right now. Here we go. Let's talk to her again. Look, Mr. Tall, dark, and brooding. Quit looming and start helping. <laughs> All right. Let's see the next one. Yes, Batman. I've noticed the new suit. It's very dashing. Now, why don't you go play Eddie's games? She's like it's very dashing. Look, I'm sure standing there like a towering pillar of muscle works on the more impressionable girls. But I'd be much more impressed with some keys. Yes, Batman, I've noticed the new okay. suit. It's very dashing. Now, why don't you go play Eddie's games? Look, Mr. Tall, Dark, and Brooding. All right, so there we go. Looming and start helping. Okay. Oops, I can go through the door, obviously. I gotta go back up through there. Okay, Catwoman, let's see her bio. Uh, Selena Kyle, of course, professional thief, Gotham City. First appearance was Batman number one, spring 1940. An orphan who learned to survive on the mean streets of Gotham, Selena Kyle turned to thievery to survive, determined to do it with style. She learned martial arts and trained in gymnastics to perfect her skills. Her criminal activities are tempered by a reluctant altruism, making her an in inconstant villain and occasional hero. Yep, the dichotomy, right? 
Uh, she maintains a complicated adversarial relationship with Batman that frequently turns flirtatious and occasionally romantic. Little is known about her movements since the closure of Arkham City, but a string of high-profile burglaries uh, suggests she is still at large in Gotham. Trained gymnast and athlete, uh, expert hand-to-hand -hand uh, combatant, uh, highly skilled with whips, yep, unrivaled st stealth capabilities, obsessed with stealing famous and well-protected items. That is true. And again, uh, Christopher Nolan in his, you know, those Hollywood movies, uh, The Dark Knight Rises, one of the, I mean, the opening scene, I think, in the movie was where you see um, Anne Hathaway's character actually stealing, like, you know, the well-protected items that Bruce Wayne had in his mansion. So, anyways... Okay, uh, look at this room though. Ugh, bugs. Let's see what we got here. Those are the little robots that Enigma built to attack us. Sir, I've regained control of the bridges. Good work. I'll contact you when I'm in position at Mercy Bridge. Well, Batman, old boy, this is quite the dilemma, isn't it? Do you save the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped, or the incompetent friend who got herself kidnapped? Personally, I go see Eddie's latest contrived death gauntlet. I'm sure he went to a lot of trouble. <laughs> Besides, you can't save all of Barbara. I killed half of her already. Wow. Cold-hearted bastard. Use the mission select screen to choose your next objective. And he's gone. So, uh... Here, I'll show you guys uh, uh, Riddler's Revenge. This one says what? Return to Mercy Bridge to resume tracking Arkham Knights. Uh, complete Riddler's Trial in the Cauldron Train Yard. Um, defeat Riddler and rescue Catwoman. So, let me, you know, I mean, these are these are a bunch of missions. I mean, I mean, obviously there's there are a lot of them. But uh, let me know in the comments if you guys want me to go through like maybe one couple of them. But I'm going to go over the story for now. Uh, I did side missions in the last two, so let's continue with the story. I'm heading to Mercy Bridge to pick up the trail of the Arkham Knight's vehicle. Miss Gordon's safety is on all of our minds, sir. Good luck. There we go. I need to go back to the bridge to bring the Batmobile onto Miyagani Island. Okay. Let's do that. You know, if Barbara was here, she'd tell you it's not your fault she got kidnapped. But she's not here, is she? Because you got a kidnapped. Oops, wrong one. I'm at the bridge. One moment. 
Sir, I should probably warn you, there's a significant militia presence ahead. Duly noted. I Duly noted. I access the files Miss Gordon was working on before her abduction. It would seem she found a weakness in the drones, sir. A direct hit from the Vulcan gun on their sensor array should destroy them with a single shot. Sergeant, Mercy Bridge is being lowered. He's coming. Whoa. ready to engage. Charge warhead designed to penetrate the toughest armor. I've got surprises too, Batman. Alpha target just hit a diamondback. Armor breached. Oops, missed. Tanks. Oh, I have to go that way. Uh, use the forensic scanner to track the route of the militia vehicle. Oh, okay, 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 I see. Wait, is it this way? Yeah, it is that way. I was going the right way. Here we go. Nowhere to hide! We lost one, sir. He's making you look like a fool! Targets hit a drone. It's over, Dark Knight. Armor holding. There we go. Multiple drones offline. What the hell was that? The enemies acquired simultaneous strike capabilities. Then faster. Okay, hang on, let me check my Wayne Tech upgrade points to... What else I got here? Increase the automatic recharge of the Batman's afterburner. Uh, no, I'm not too keen on that.
Okay. Hold on. I just wanted to check something, I... Wait a minute. Yeah, the... thought I heard something. Okay, toggle forensic scanner, okay. There we go. Let's continue the journey. We gotta get back here, I think, a little. I'll find you, and when I do, you're dead. This is another one of those missions. We can come back to it. Let's go find this first. That's the side mission again. The one, you know. I mean, like, that right there is a side mission, so... The one I've done before... Easily defeated. You think some rusting factory was the Whoa. only weapon I had? The Arkham Knight's vehicle swerved and crashed up ahead. The car is empty. The Arkham Knight must have taken Oracle and moved on. I should examine the vehicle more closely. This is pretty cool. Oops. The car veered off an empty road. Why? Looks like the driver wasn't wearing his seatbelt. I should find the body. L2R2 to review reconstruction. So we gotta see where the body went. So we can slowly reverse it and then bring it forward. There we go. There he is. Traces of pepper spray on the right side of the driver's face. Oracle must have been in the passenger seat and deliberately caused the crash. Clever. I should check the area where she was sitting. Torn off during the crash. If I can find where it came to rest, 
I can determine exactly what happened. Okay. There's a door. And there is the door right there. Whoa. Aha. Torn cleanly off the hinges. The door must have been opened before the crash. Oracle got out. I need to examine the reconstruction. Pinpoint where she landed. What is this? No evidence. Oops. No evidence. Okay. Let's see. There we go. So we gotta reverse this. Oh, there she is. There she is. I see her. I see her. Oops, wrong. What? Isn't that her though? Okay, hold on. Oops, there she is. Oracle got free of the vehicle before the crash. <laughs> Oracle stopped here. Someone took a shot at her. I should analyze the point of impact for ballistic evidence. The caliber of the weapon is a match for the Arkham Knight's sidearm. The trajectory and impact velocity points to a shooter that matches his height. At this range, he couldn't have missed. A warning shot. I've missed something. Oracle knew she couldn't escape, but she caused this crash for a reason. She must have left a clue while crawling away. While crawling away. Let's rewind. Let's examine her while she was crawling. There. What was that? Look at her hand. There we go. Lucius, Oracle left me the scrambler device at the scene of the crash. Decrypt the data so I can pinpoint the Arkham Knight's location. Ah, this kind of thing was more Miss Gordon's specialty. I'll see what I can do, but it'll take me a little while. I'll meet you at Wayne Tower when you're ready. Alfred, give me an update on Gotham's most wanted. One moment, sir. Right, these two are just in. A mysterious hooded figure has been spotted on a rooftop in Grand Avenue. He appears to be standing beside a burning bat symbol, sir. It might be wise to establish whether this interloper is friend or foe.
Reports are also coming in of a blaze at the Bristol fire station. One suspects arson, sir, as the power to the building has been cut, disabling the fire suppression system. You may wish to investigate. So here to the cowl. Um, the mysterious figure one, again, is coming from Arkham City. Gotham on fire. Uh, the mysterious figure was in Arkham City. He made his appearance and uh, this will uh, also be an interesting side mission. Uh, this one, not very long. But we will continue that next. Thank you for tuning in and I will catch you in the next one.